Hey guys, Ritz here. I'm gonna check out the new trailer for Splitgate 2. Oh, they're about there, Go on the point, one shot. Oh, he dropped out. I killed. No I killed two. Way. Nice. I think I stuck one. I got two. Last guy behind the wall, behind the wall. Hunt him down, hunt him down. I'm really liking the art and color direction. One more. This is just such a fresh outlook on a good, fun arena shooter. It kind of builds on what Splitgate 1 was. It's got your portals, DMRs that are single shot. I would say action packed, fast paced, like the movement and adding that slide mechanic sort of makes a Slide mechanic is pretty cool. Being able to run and gun. It's no longer just portaling and gunplay. It's like factions comboing. With oh, we can look at that. The ability, the abilities. Really, the factions are. Okay, so that's like the new BR. Just because of their passives and ability that you use. I really like the crowd effect. It's like from takedown from Splitgate 1. is just high nice. PM, fast movement, you gotta run around, you're porting behind people, shooting them, killing them, go back to your portal, reset, pop a stim. This role is mainly like the entry fragging role, and I would say that's more geared towards the mechanically skilled players. Using that rush hmm. ability also increases the pace. Hey, there's my name on the list, top left. Zip in and also do the <laughs> portal, 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 portal. You reload faster, combine that with the sprinter, and you're just assassinating. Oh, people. you're going really so really fast really here. Nice. Hell yeah. Really nice because the movement with everything feels very satisfying. I feel like the OG Splitgate right players are going to absolutely here. love playing arrows. You run so fast. And I'm taking out the entire team. The stim to get your health back is cool too, so you can just like frag out. I got heals. This is one I'm really curious about. Timmy's on point right now. Timmy's on point. The faction Meridian is way more appealing, in my opinion, to support players because there are abilities that can help you survive and help your teammates survive. She so can heal your teammates. Them and keep them up, but also get kills at the same time. Like I would use my hyper sight to see when people are flanking, and it kind of just detects people behind walls. You can see their HP, where they're at. Just so you just get full intel. It's good for your team, but also it does give you the ability to frag out yourself, which is nice. I think that the time dome is actually one of the best games time dome. in the entire game. It's really useful anytime, really you're in a gunfight with anybody. You could use it for yourself selfishly by just throwing it on the ground and standing in it and being able to shoot faster, you reload faster. You, you shoot faster, faster, you reload faster. That sounds sick. He ends up stepping into it. They have the reverse effects of that, which is obviously huge. Oh, and enemies get a uh, debuff from that. That's huge. Watch out. Opponent is attempting a capture. Dude, the grenades are Oh, the so shield good. comes out so fast. And he shot really fast out of that. Obviously, portals are big. But Sabrask, I feel like, is the faction that you can get away with uh, the most not using the portals. Not as this is a shield guy. This is going to appeal to some of the people that aren't familiar with Splitgate's antics. With all the abilities and the guns, you have a lot of versatility. You have the smart wall, which is basically a pop-up shield that blocks enemy bullets from your enemy depending on where you place it. But you can shoot through it. If you place it down and you're getting shot in the back, you can then go to the opposite side of the smart wall. And pairing the wall with this. Oh, so you can like bounce through the wall. That's pretty cool. Wall off one area and then I'm scared about walls, so to be honest. Hold down the zone. So if you can get to a power position on the map, the smart wall was like a necessity. I don't have utility to stay on point. So I think you I have got... a healing grenade. I can just play on the side. Yeah, I think I think you put the shield down, put the heal grenade, and then you guys just play it off of each other, and I can just play the side angle. God, I love the graphic design. It looks so pretty and colorful. The actual release of the game. There's going to be more game modes. Oh, do we? More power weapons. More oh, they went down fast. I mean, the big thing is, it's like a, it's a real sequel. It still holds the core fundamental values of Splitgate, so it's still. Splitgate. I love that you go by the crowd off of that. That's so sick. The original game, but it still has that fast-paced arena shooter feel that brings a lot of people back. And in this, you can spawn in, hit some shots, play with your friends. I'm excited for people to see it. I think they're gonna like it a lot. So five rounds. Oh, that's it. Man, that was fast. I'm so excited. 14th? That's only six days. Hell yeah. I want to play so bad.